finally, the MCU get their hands dirty as we join Maya Lopez on a journey. If you love Netflix's version of Marvel TV shows, you'll feel right at home here. It's a street level based superhero story that I thoroughly enjoyed for what it is. It works well within the confines of its own little universe. Alakwa Cox gives a fantastic performance as Maya, but we all know who's the main attraction here. It's Wilson Fisk, AKA Kingpin, expertly played by Vincent Donafreo. He is basically the Thanos level threat when it comes to the street level superheroes. Definitely the standout for me. If you watch Daredevil, then you know the action set pieces were always the main attraction of these shows. They kind of remind me of that scene in Old Boy, if you guys have watched Old Boy. They definitely pack a serious punch and in this show, it's definitely a standout as well. Look, this is not the Marvel show I was hoping for. I had my eyes perfectly fixed on Daredevil, Born Again. So while we wait for that, this is probably the next best thing. The character was introduced in the Hawkeye TV show. So if you guys didn't watch that, I think now would be a perfect time to revisit that. And if you didn't, uh, it's basically an origin story. So you won't be too lost when you're watching this show. But it's just safer to go do some research. You know, Marvel is interconnected. So polish up on the knowledge. The show is Marvel's first venture under the new spotlight banner which is geared towards a more mature audience than their previous shows. The darker and more gritty nature of the show definitely works for me and I that's the one aspect that I love about the show. And at some point I mean Marvel had to realize that not all their content can be presented in PG-13. You're gonna have to cross that line sooner or later because if you look at the comics guys there's some of the characters there that stand out on their own the punisher daredevil electra luke cage jessica jones all these characters are not dangling from a building or you know what i'm trying to say so this is a massive opportunity for marvel to expand the MCU in a way that they haven't before. I mean, this feels more like a drama show you would find on CBS or HBO, you know, it's grounded, it's rooted in reality. Although there, there is an element of where Maya's tribe comes from. On that note, before I forget, it has now been made official that Netflix's Marvel Universe is now canon in the MCU. So all those shows that you love, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and even the Defenders can make an appearance now in the MCU, which is fantastic news. So things are about to get very interesting and it's a different take on the MCU that I personally feel it desperately needed because with the multiverse saga, things have been hit and miss. There hasn't been the same level of consistency from the MCU. Now, another problem that I have, if you are familiar with the Netflix TV shows, you know that most of them ran for 13 episodes, which is basically the standard. If it's not 10, 13 is also fine. It's the standard to run a cohesive TV show. And the one negative that I have about this show, which I've had about all the Marvel TV shows that have come out on Disney Plus, is the episode count is way too short. This comes in at five episodes. So, I mean, it's basically impossible to consistently tell a story and branch out and do proper character building. If you only have five episodes, I mean, guys, in the grand scheme of things, this is a much better TV show than their last few efforts. I mean, it wasn't even a secret that 
secret invasion was an absolute disaster but if marvel is going in this direction i mean daredevil born again is coming make no mistake then it's the right way to go especially when it comes to their tv shows keep things very grounded and interesting and realistic on disney plus and keep all the big massive spectacles for the big screen i mean if they can use that blueprint and they stick to that i feel that they can find a cohesive formula again like they did with the infinity saga guys i enjoy this show it's not fantastic it's not the best tv show that i've seen but it's worth the watch and it's much better it's much more improved from marvel please let me know what you guys think about echo are you guys gonna check it out is it something that you've been anticipating to watch i mean it is january it's dumpster month so this is something to watch something to enjoy early on in the year please let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section or are you guys done with the mcu or you're just taking a well-deserved break please let me know and that's it for me guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button i'll keep the content coming and that's it for me guys catch you on the next one